if you're looking for a stunning insight into the utter state of Gen Z feminism and modern relationships, and boy is it in a state. Look no further than this new whatever podcast, which has really produced some absolute bangers recently. The whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment, and I didn't really, I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. And <laughs> it was fun. So did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. I hope I did a little damage. But wait, the media told me toxic masculinity was the problem. You do work at a strip club, so why do you hope that you did a little damage? Just, I like humbling men. Yeah, I'm seeing damaged goods here, but it ain't the guy. I already know I'm gonna have a very great relationship who I'm with. They will put up with me. They'll put up with me. What a rock solid foundation for a relationship based on mutual respect. They'll but respect me as a person. Yeah, respect is earned, but not normally by acting like an infantile, petulant diva. They will put up with me. It's the fact that you even had to say he will put up with me. He'll put it's, up with me. Like that's that that's Girls going out all the time. If she's going out, it's a deal breaker for me. Huge red flag. Same that for me, for me it's, it's yeah, a deal breaker. I, I totally agree. Why? Like, why is that a deal breaker? Is it because it makes you insecure? No, because it's hoe behavior. Would you be okay with your long-term monogamous partner going to a nightclub, bar, or party type environment where throughout the course of the night he's going to get approached? flirted with and sexually pursued by numerous attractive women, some of which are more attractive than you and could potentially be a better partner than you, and these women are buying him drinks, getting him drunk, and enthusiastically want to sleep with him that night and steal him away from you. You're going to tell me you'd be okay with that. No, no, no. not with that. Definitely not. Is it because it makes you insecure? I went on a date with a guy who's single and he's not fucking any other girls. Then I would be like, well, why isn't he? Like, what's wrong with him? <laughs> Obviously, there's been some flags going off for other girls. Loyalty, self-discipline, and not being a dirty little promiscuous fuckboy is a red flag. Like, what's wrong with him? <laughs> yeah, the only red flag I see here is on a future STD test result. <laughs> Self-proclaimed Gen Z feminists are also really muddled in the head when it comes to advocating for gender equality, yet refusing to pay for shit. Would you describe yourself as a feminist? Yes. Do you believe in gender equality? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so how do you reconcile believing in gender equality, but also holding men to their traditional gender roles of paying for the first date? Well, I'm, I'm just saying that's my personal view. It, a woman can... Being a feminist is just doing whatever you want to do. Wow, what a succinct way of saying I don't want to be held accountable for my bad behavior. And uh, obviously, like... Like, um, standing up for, like, women's, like, rights and stuff like that. Except for when a dude in a dress walks into a female bathroom. But when it... I don't know, I just feel like this question's really dense. Yeah, something's dense, love, but it's not the question. My question is, if you believe in gender equality, don't you think you ought to split the bill on the first date? Um, no, because my main concern with gender equality is through, like, yes in society, like, fixing that and through like the system but yeah I don't oh my god <laughs> Some feminists argue that the gender pay gap is a reason why men should pay the bill. Well, considering men all over are paid 20% more compared to women, until this gender pay gap is resolved, yes, he should pay for the date. Well, first of all, in many cases, there's a reason for the gender pay gap. <laughs> There's more delectable idiocy to come, but first a word from the sponsor of this video. Lord Watson. It just sounds right, doesn't it? it? Sounds like it was meant to be. Established Titles is an entertaining novelty gift that helps preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland, as well as supporting global reforestation efforts. It's a fun project based on a historic Scottish custom, where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Established Titles works with its charity partners, One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future, to plant a tree with every order. 
impress and stand out from the rest by using Lord or Lady on your credit card, dating profile, or plane ticket. Title packs can serve at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Eddleston, Scotland. You'll receive a certificate with a crest and unique plot number, just like this one. Oh! <laughs> And the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my dedicated plot within a few minutes walking distance. We can build our little kingdom. I'm going to be leader, obviously. They're currently running a St. Patrick's Day special sale with up to 80% off and a free gift. You can also use the code PJW to get an extra 10% off your order. The best way of supporting me is by supporting my loyal sponsors. So click the link in the description below and get your gift today. Now back to the video. In most conventional jobs, when you account for female career choices and other somewhat important factors like Oh, I don't know. The amount of hours worked. There is no gender pay gap. It disappears. It doesn't exist. So maybe you should think about splitting that bill. But then again, when you think about it. Gone are the days of people just dating one person at a time. Similarly, gone are the days of people sleeping with just one person at a time. So if you're going on a first date with a girl, you have to assume she's fucking at least one other guy. You have to assume that. She could be sleeping with two, three other guys. So my thing is, I'm not gonna pay for a girl if she's fucking another guy, point blank period. You do not adhere to your traditional gender roles if she does not adhere to hers. But the man in the following situation didn't even get the chance to pay. You guys, I just get back from a hinge date. Why am I doing this to myself? Wow, sounds really bad, what happened? So we scheduled to go to dinner. We are sitting at the restaurant. Get on with it. And he said, I'm going to take the burger. And the waitress asked him, okay, how do you like your burger? He said, how he likes his burger. And do you want some cheese on your burger? And he asked, is this going to be extra? And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind. I'm like, what the actual fuck? What? That's a perfectly normal reaction. Three dollars for a single cheap slice of processed cheese. Totally correct decision not to pay for it. And he's like, oh my God, you have to pay extra for everything these days. And I'm like, yeah, it's New York City. So I got my Bernzino, he got his burger, we were eating. And once I was satisfied, I got up and I was like, I'm going to the restroom for a second. And I took my purse and I went to the waitress and I was like, hey, I just want to pay the bill. And I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant. You walked out on him because he didn't want to get ripped off. Totally unjustifiable and just plain rude. So I texted him, the check is taken care of. You should have gotten the cheese. And I blocked him. What? Bro seems like he dodged a missile. Bro is financially literate. I mean, all of this who pays the bill confusion could easily be solved by some simple down-to-earth courteous behavior. Don't act like a self-entitled spoiled brat. Say thank you. And men will be happy to pay. The best reason for a man picking up the tab, all of it, is that men paying the bill is a perfectly reasonable fulfilment of traditional gender roles. And that's fine. Gen Z feminists aren't big fans of traditional gender roles though, are they? Except for when it comes time to cough up, then suddenly they're fine with it. Absolutely, you should be paid for the first date. But then again, weapons grade self delusion is really an emerging theme here. If you ever want to get married, there's a lot of young girls out there who want to get married someday. If pictures of yourself doing sexual things are all over the internet, your husband and your kids will not appreciate that. I still no consider myself a that. Christian. That well-known Christian to OnlyFans pipeline. But Christian? The ladies to rate themselves on a scale of 1 to 10. I'd say I'm a 10. 10. Uh, 10. 10. 10. 10. <laughs> 10. I prefer really not to... Um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. Every girl is a 10. <laughs> I don't every woman every is woman's a 10. a 10? Is every guy a 10? No, absolutely not. There's that famous gender equality shining through again. Men are typically expected to court women, approach women, ask them out on dates, maybe pick them up, pay for dates, make the first move, etc. What are women expected to do to build a relationship? So I'm talking about that initial stage. What are women expected to do? Wait, so are we, are we scenario? Just be Bring yourself. Good conversation. Be yourself, like... Like... <laughs> ...are so superficial. Would you date a guy that's shorter than you? Absolutely not. I'd at least 6'2". 
especially because exactly. we're all like in our early 20s like this yes, is the time yes. to, to like explore and find yourself to wow that's gonna be a real deep dive isn't it when you say explore and find yourself does that mean just like get run through by a bunch of dudes i think you're right Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.